Hello dear students, today we will understand a new chapter of Indian Economic Development and the name of the chapter is Environment and Sustainable Development. So let's start. Now let us discuss what is environment. Environment refers to the conditions or surroundings in which a person or animal or plant lives. It includes all biotic elements, example birds, animals, plants and forest etc as well as abiotic elements for example air water sun land mountains etc jo kuch bhi hamare char aur hai hamari sari char aur ki jo conditions hain surroundings hain jisme hum reh rahe hain wohi environment hai if we talk about the functions of environment then the first one environment offers resources for production environment includes physical resources minerals wood water soil and others which we get as a free gift gift from nature these resources are used as input for production the next one environment sustains life environment includes sun soil water and air which are essential for human life absence of these elements will lead to end of life kyunki ye sab hai tabhi to hamari life hai जरा सोचिए अगर सन सॉइल वाटर एयर हमारे सराउंडिंग्स में नहीं होगा तो क्या हम अपनी लाइफ को इमेजिन कर सकते हैं तो बिल्कुल नहीं कर सकते नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एनवायरमेंट एनहेंसेस द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ एनवायरमेंट इंक्लूड्स रिवर्स माउंटेन्स ओशंस एंड डेजर्ट्स व्हिच एनहेंसेस द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ नाउ थिंक इफ दीज ऑल आर नॉट हियर कैन वी थिंक ऑफ अ गुड लाइफ एन आंसर विल कम नो the next point environment absorbs waste it absorbs waste which is generated due to production and consumption activities ab jitna bhi waste hum generate karte hain wo chahe production activities se kare ya consumption activities se kare to isko absorb karne ki jo power hai jo taakat hai wo sirf aur sirf environment mein hai na jaane roz kitna waste hum market mein bazar mein jo hai sadkon par dal dete hain phaila dete hain इन सब को एब्जॉर्व करने की पावर सिर्फ और सिर्फ हमारी सराउंडिंग्स हमारे एनवायरनमेंट में है नाउ अगर हम बात करें तो एनवायरनमेंट को लेकर कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं तो हम बात करेंगे बेसिक प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू एनवायरनमेंट। देन देर आर टू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू एनवायरनमेंट। द फर्स्ट वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पॉल्यूशन एंड द नेक्स्ट वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सेसिव एक्सप्लोटेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज नाउ लेट एस टोक द फर्स्ट वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पॉल्यूशन as you know that pollution refers to those activities of production and consumption which challenge the purity of air and water and pollute the environment it is a serious problem related to the process of growth it may be of three types air pollution water pollution and noise pollution now let us talk about air pollution air pollution refers to the release of pollutants into the air like harmful gases like so2 no2 co2 etc and these emitted by the industries and motor vehicles these pollutants challenge the purity of air and lower the quality of air jitne bhi ye pollutant hain jab air mein mil jate hain to uski purity ko kam kar dete hain aur kya karte hain create karte hain air pollution if we talk about the causes of air pollution smog emitted by industries poisonous gases emitted by in the process of chemical treatment of minerals harmful gases emitted by motor vehicles now let us talk about water pollution water pollution refers to release of pollutants into the water like acid salts poison oils discharged by the industries into the water these pollutants challenge the purity of water and lower the quality of water itna sara pollutant water mein mil jata hai ki wo peene layak nahi rehta polluted ho jata hai if we talk about the causes of water pollution then the first one domestic waste that flows into streams and rivers industrial waste that flows into streams and rivers and agricultural waste that flows into streams and rivers ye sara waste jo hota hai streams and rivers mein mil jata hai aur hamara jo hamara jo water hai usko kya kar deta hai pollute kar deta hai now let us talk about noise pollution noise pollution refers to the presence of disturbing and unnecessary sounds like excess of noise produced by vehicles industries household appliances such as if you talk about cooler and mixer and etc that can seriously impact the mental and physical health of human and lowers the quality of life if you talk 
अगर हम बात करें तो हमारे आसपास इतनी ज़्यादा हमारे सराउंडिंग्स में इतनी डिस्टर्बिंग नॉइज़ होती है अननेसेसरी लोग जो है हॉर्न बजाते हैं और बाकी सब चीज़ चलती है कभी कभी ये क्या करती है हमारे मेंटल लेवल को बिल्कुल डिस्टर्ब कर देती है और इसी से क्रिएट होता है नॉइज़ पॉल्यूशन यानी कि जब साउंड हमारी लिसनिंग पावर से बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सेस कर जाए तो यहाँ नॉइज पॉल्यूशन क्रिएट हो जाता है नाउ लेट एस टोक अबाउट दी कॉजेज ऑफ नॉइज पॉल्यूशन द फर्स्ट वन साउंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई व्हीकल्स इन साउंड प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक मशीनें जितनी भी मशीनें इंडस्ट्रीज में चलती हैं हैवी जो मशीन्स होती हैं काफ़ी साउंड प्रोड्यूस करती हैं साउंड प्रोड्यूस बाई हाउस होल्ड अप्लायसेज नाउ लेट एस टोक आउट अबाउट द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वॉज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पॉल्यूशन नाउ द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सेसिव एक्सपर्टेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज एक्चुअली क्या है कि हम एनवायरमेंट uh, में जो चीजें हमें मिल रही हैं हम उनका बहुत ज्यादा एक्सप्लोटेशन कर रहे हैं अपने पर्सनल यूज के लिए देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इंडस्ट्रीज तो इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन क्या है इट इज अ बून एज इट ऑफर्स अ वेराइटी ऑफ थिंग्स टू अस बट इंक्रीजिंग इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन एंड रैपिड इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इज द बिगेस्ट रीजन ऑफ सेवरल एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम विच आर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट वन इज डिफॉरेस्टेशन Deforestation means it refers to the permanent destruction of forests to make land useful for other use, like for building house, making industries, etc. घरों को बनाने के लिए, industries को बनाने के लिए और land को बाकी other purpose के लिए use करने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं? लगातार पेड़ों को काटते जाते हैं। क्या हो रहा है? Deforestation हो रहा है। If we talk about the causes of deforestation, then first one, more and more trees are cut down to meet the growing demand of wood and other forest products. by the industries the next one more and more trees are cut down by the people due to increasing demand of land by rapidly rising population they are to build their houses more and more trees are cut down due to several development activities like construction of highways railways etc then these are the reasons of deforestation now let us talk about the second problem degradation of land it means loss of fertility of land due to soil erosion alkalinity and salinity of soil now let us talk about the causes of degradation the first one soil erosion is the loss of upper layer of soil due to strong winds and floods this layer contains major nutrients for the growth of plants the second alkalinity and salinity of soil water logging water logging on the top of soil destroys the nutrients of the soil and reduce its fertility next that is environmental degradation degradation of resources which creates ecological imbalances is known as environmental degradation if we talk about the causes of environmental degradation the first one is population explosion this is the main reason and this is the main cause of environmental degradation due to increasing population land is greatly exploited people are building their houses they are cutting the trees and forest and this is the biggest reason of environmental degradation now the next one increase in poverty a large number of section of the indian population is poor these poor people cut trees to earn their living this is also a cause of environmental degradation in india next increasing industries regularly increasing industries contribute to air pollution water pollution and noise pollution now next increasing use of chemicals do you know regularly increasing use of chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides is harmful for environment and contributes to the environment pollu pollution we are using chemical fertilizers insecticides and pesticides regularly for the purpose of farming and this is also a big reason and contribute to environment environmental pollution now the next one urbanization urbanization is also a big reason for environmental degradation people cut trees to build their houses so in today's video it is enough thank you thank you for watching